addiction. They say scratch board's addicting, but heck, Diana's been doing it for 25 years and she ain't hooked. That's right. <laughs> So how many people here didn't do scratch board until they saw it on my canvas? One. <coughs> wow. I did it in school. Did it in school, never, you know, I'm talking way back now. No, I mean currently, school. started working currently on scratch board. Just kind of ran into it in a, in a hobby lobby is what I, I just had her on end cap. I was looking for something else and I yeah. saw it. I just Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't want to draw a bird, but it looks like there's a nice line quality there. And yeah. Was it the, the ampersand or was yeah. it the... Uh -huh. They had on it like a little end cap, and, yeah. you know, a little on sale thing or something, you know. Just leave that end cap now, if you saw it now, would have three artists that you knew on the sales you know. brochure. Yeah. Oh, they haven't changed. Yeah. They haven't changed the advertising at the Hobby Lobby in my place. I don't think the oh, Hobby really? Lobby's don't have, Hobby Lobby's don't have the same. No. We don't have a Hobby Lobby. But we did see it in Indy. Yeah. Yeah. See, I've never Prison. seen it. Yeah, I've it never got to see it. I take a picture of it. Texas Art has it. We've seen pictures of it. Yeah, I've seen yeah. pictures, I, but I've, I've never. I, the stores I go into where I buy my my boards, uh -huh. they don't have it. Well, I think part of it is Texas Art separates in completely different sizes of the store: the whiteboard and the scratch board. And it's on the scratch board mm -hmm. display. Mm -hmm but not on the whiteboard, which is stocked with the canvases. Okay, well, in our store, we've nice got store. this whole end of the, mm -hmm. the, the store, it's about as big as this area, uh -huh. and it has all these little little cubbies with every kind of ampersand board you can think of, uh -huh. except flat, instead of scratch board. Scrap board, you go, okay, well, where is that? Mm -hmm. Well, you leave that room, you go around, you go <laughs> into another room, uh -huh. in, a, in a section where they have all the poster board, and that board at the very bottom drawer, <laughs> and you pull this out, and there's like two five by sevens and maybe an eight by ten. What type of store is this? Riley Street Art Supply. Oh, really? Is that the one we went to, right? Yeah. They were. They had boodles of stuff. White. Yeah, but well, yeah, but, and I mean, no, boodles of other stuff. Yeah, yeah. good size. So scratch stuff. boards. So I get mine from um, Dick Blake. There's a Hobby Lobby just a few blocks from the hotel. Oh, really? I have a store of my own in my supply closet right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when, uh, um, I don't know if I'm giving away information, I'm not supposed to, but when I gave them permission to use my artwork for the signs and stuff, they said we could either pay you or give you boards, and I said, boards. Yeah. <laughs> so I have a lot of boards in my closet for it. Well, they use like my work three or four times. Mm -hmm. if, I, if I'm ever in San Antonio again, I know exactly where I'm getting my boards. There is a huge stockpile that Rod, Kathy, and Angela and Stephanie got to witness the other day <laughs> in a garage. Oh. <laughs> Sport knocks from scratch board in it. I do not believe it. <laughs> I made a mistake here. I just want to okay. you guys to see. I actually crossed over, and you really shouldn't do that because it, it'll take too much off. Okay. So, will you go in with black ink and repair that? I, I am going to attempt it, yeah. I have faith you can. <laughs> now, see, the only way you actually could have learned that is by doing it. So making mistakes is a good thing. Okay. I'm not really finished with the tail, but I'm just going to show you. I just put. I'll go ahead and put a little wash on there. And go ahead and, and we have some water. Okay. Oh. Yeah, right. your wool over there. Have a water right there. Yes. No, it's not yeah. back. Some. It's fine. Oh. I can't and you use like watercolor? I use. Oh, okay. <laughs> that looked like a watercolor tray with watercolor in it. You just needed to wet. That's, that's all I'm for Sandy's. Ah. Mm -hmm. Now, are you going to do it in, in black or, or is that sepia? This is black. 
Are you fixing it or are you? I'm going to do both, I think. You guys so. use eyedroppers, I use a garden hose. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have to train yourself not to accidentally put that in color so you, you taint it? Your what? your eyedropper and suction up color? Or do you use it for color as well? I just, well, I guess I got something on there. But um, I, I, I just got an eyedropper about a month ago because I didn't have anything. I was taking the, I was just. Yeah. Yeah, so I haven't used it a lot. I was just wondering if you could cross use it into colors and stuff. I. I would think so because once that ink dries, it really doesn't do much of anything else. So you follow the grain of the tail when you paint too? Yeah, I, I always follow the grain of whatever I'm doing. I don't know, it's just a habit. I don't know if you need to do that or not. But well, I think you do. Do you have a favorite scratch board piece? Uh, yes, I do. Um, it's uh, my new, my two new fees. It's, or or do or do you mean a favorite altogether? I mean, there's no, so many yours. favorites here. Both. Yeah, yours. Both. <laughs> oh, yours. Um, yeah, for mine, it's um, I I did a board. It was, it was my first 16 by 20, and it was of two new fees. A, a little one looking up at the an older one. Right. Have you ever entered that into a show? I, uh, yeah, I did. I, well, I've entered it into some local shows and I entered it in uh, the art show at the dog show. Okay, with 16 by 20, how do you get them scanned? I don't know. <laughs> I had, I guess I had to bring them, bring them to. <laughs> did you um, get them scanned in? I have not. I have not. I, I uh, my big boards. I still have not had scanned. So. Depending on your scanner, you could piece together probably. Four yeah. Well, I've, I've tried that, and what, what I have is I, I end up having this kind of a reddish color on one of them, and a bluish color on the other black, and, I, and they, they just won't match. Desaturate. So they, every time I, I scan, it, it scans different colors. Desaturate. Color. Yeah, go ahead and change oh, it over okay. to a gray. Just change color. it to a black and white photo. Okay. Unless it's a color piece, then that won't work. Well, that, that was a color piece. Oh. Oh. But it, was, it had just a very little color, but it had enough color that I had to keep it that way. I, I did, I mean, I did scan it just so I could um, enter it, you know, so I could have a picture, but I had to do a lot of work on it just to make it look like it really does. I experimented and found just the right formula for after I scan it after I put it in black and white to get rid of all the artifacts. I can then go to my color program and add just enough of the yellow and blah mm -hmm. blah to make it look like a little scratch board again. <laughs> yeah, I always warned up the highlights yeah, too. Yeah. I am probably going to just Absolutely. scratch a little bit with the... There you go. Yeah. <laughs> what do you use on the rest of the horse? Sir? The rest of the horse is what I use. That's and that's the exacto. That's the exacto knife. Is that like falling out of the holder or that's as much as it goes into that holder? 